Hello, dear friends. This this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing a lot of experimental things now. A little bit, well, not really, but I'm just you know I'm branching out with different things. Uh, Poet WP. I was thinking about the video I did yesterday and examining my path in life and um, how it's progressed and what led me here. You know, what what. What brought me to this? So, I wanted to tell you a story. It's not a, it's a true story. It's not like I'm making up a story. It's, it's uh, I'm telling you about myself. Um, and this is also an, as much of, also an, a confession in a way. Not a confession of any kind of morally repugnant or crime or anything like that. It's, more, more of a, an explanation of my journey, uh, a small piece of it anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, I lost faith, faith in the world towards the end of the Bush administration, I was disgusted and full of anguish and grief at what was happening to our world, and especially America. Um, I was so frustrated and, and just sick with sorrow and how fucked it all seemed that I stopped wanting to inspire people. Um, I had lost my will to care. It just became far too painful. And it was like that. It was like that for me for a long time. I said to myself, fuck it. The human race isn't worth saving. And that's a hard, painful thing to live with, that feeling. And it truly was. Um. So I kind of begrudgingly, angrily decided to myself, uh, I said, I said to myself, fuck it, human race isn't worth saving. I'm just going to sit back and watch this bitch burn and laugh sardonically. <clears throat> so I just sat on my over 2,000 poems and other writings, and uh, my plan was to do like the ancients did, and just keep it all secret, and seal it up in the time capsule somewhere, and bury it or something, and to be found by others in the future. But things changed for me when the evil demons Trump Stephen Miller and Jeff Sessions started ordering the brainwashed fascist robots to start kidnapping poor, desperate, completely destitute children. And Sessions, <clears throat> when I saw Jeff Sessions go on TV and try to justify that with a Bible verse, when I saw that, it lit a fire under my ass. And Spirit said to me, Spirit said, <laughs> basically, obviously he didn't say this, but basically he said, said, look, asshole, we don't give two shits about your petty human moral quandaries and how you feel about the world. You have a responsibility. Now you're going to get off your ass now and speak out. Then I made my first YouTube video. Warning of St. Michael's coming. And I spoke of how evil this whole kidnapping children by agents of the state truly is. Every single one of the people that had a hand in this evil shit will burn in hell for all eternity when they die. Of this, I am absolutely certain.
So, here I am. Here I am. Trying to wake people up. Trying to inspire people to love. Stop hating. Think for yourself. Question authority. Like Tim Leary said, think for yourself. Question authority. Throughout human history, as our species has faced the frightening, terrorizing fact that we do not know who we are or where we're going in this ocean of chaos, it has been the religious, the institutional, the educational authorities who have attempted to comfort us by giving us order, rules, informing, forming in our minds their view of reality. To think for yourself, you must question authority and learn to put yourself in a state of vulnerable, chaotic, open-mindedness to inform yourself. Think for yourself. Question authority. I got that whole Tim Larry bit memorized. So anyway, this wasn't a poem. This wasn't really prose. This is just something I felt like talking about. Why do you stare at St. Michael judging souls? <laughs> All right, catch you next time, gang.